Hi Meg, I'm so glad you could join us today. And thanks for putting on the costume for the making of this first Medavu movie ever. Hello Flaunt. I enjoy dressing up, as you know. What is this place? It looks... empty. It's a sanatorium for writers gone insane. It's completely full but they're all inside now because of the World Cup. But the World Cup is not for another couple of days. Exactly. And they tend to fight hard for the best seats in front of the screen so I must get back, so shall we start? Sure, fire away. Then please tell us more about Basic Function, a series of futuristic misfortunes, the stories that appeared on the MetaZen site today. Where did this story come from? The story came from the anxiety central portion of my brain. The story is a look at the future sifted through my hellish imagination. It may be an attempt at trying to appreciate the present. Imagine you'd stand next to yourself looking over your shoulder. What do you like about what you're doing and what not so much? I would hate how much time I spend playing on Facebook. I like how much I am expressing myself in writing. I have even been called, gulp, prolific, recently. A friend and a writer I admire strongly, face of Frank, said that I am prolific. I looked at myself in the mirror that day and smiled. Did you have, a, teacher, s, either dead or alive, known to you personally or not? You know, writers slash editors, who walked with you. My longest lasting and most influential teacher relationship was with the amazing poet Ellery Akers. I still hear Ellery's voice when I am blocked, Ellery telling me to, write sheet, just sit down and write tons and tons of crap. Meaning, just write. And stop worrying about whether or not it is, good. It is a way of tricking the brain. Ellery saved my life as a writer. I feel a little ignorant now. Context is meta, what do you listen to when you write? What do you like to look at? I often listen to Hank Williams Sr. or Bob Wills when writing. Old, vintage country. Also, I look at my cat and dog. Sometimes I kiss them when I am writing. They usually lie on the bed next to me. I write in my messy bedroom. I remember that bedroom from your videos. What's your view on metafiction? Or if you don't have any, why the hell not? I think metafiction is rad. Fiction spawn from fiction? What could be cooler? Okay, maybe meeting the actors Jason Bateman. And or Jeremy Sisto. Futurama, we've seen you publish a lot of flash fiction. What's your view about the long form and is it for you? I wish the long form was for me. Unfortunately, my stories become stagnant and stiff if I take them on road trips. They seem to like appearances, not sleepovers. This may be because I began my writing career writing as a poet. You're also an editor. We're editors. Any advice you would like to give us as one of the editors of Smoke Along Quarterly? As an editor, I would say fight for what you love. If you love a piece and others disagree, battle it out. You'll never regret it. Loving a piece as an editor makes every bit of work worthwhile. How will getting published by MetaZen change your world? Or if it won't, why not? Getting published by MetaZen always changes my world. It makes it a little bit brighter, every single time. I love MetaZen and am so excited about the new editors. Any famous last words, words of thanks or, more, shameless self-publication? I have a book of flash fiction stories that will be out in February 2011. It is because of wonderful publications like yours that this was possible. You are angels. Meg, we love being angels for the likes of you. You're a doll and a half and I think your hair looks wonderful. I'd also like to say thanks to all of you for being such great readers. I am Flaunt and this is my last job for MetaZen.